Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlag. This is their part number 35009C200 key blank. The C200 is an Everest key blank, an Everest keyway, and the C the C series is the Everest, followed by three numbers. There are 10 keyways, and then there are multi section keys, of which the C200 is a multi section key. And we'll go over that in a moment. C134, C135, C. Pardon me. C134, C145, C135, C125, C124, C123. 234, 235, 245, 345. 10 keyways. Those keyways are then grouped into the ability to run a multi section key blank into them. And the C200 sits at the grandfather level of being able to run into six of those total. There's a link below this video to a document called um, Cut Sheet, so you can review all of that. But the C200 will pass into those cylinders. There is no cylinder associated with a C200 keyway. Um, and the reason you would have this rather than a, a multi-section key like this, rather than one of the cylinder keyways that would be like a C123, let's say, is Imagine of those six or so keyways, cylinders, uh, seven I believe I said, imagine you had a seven story building or something less complex. Let's say your home and you had a front door, a back door and a side door, but then you had a garage door. You could put a C124 keyway onto the house and then you could put a C245 onto the garage. The landscaper who needs to get into the garage, you give him that C245. His keyway, his key won't even physically fit into the cylinders of the house. You walk around with the C200 keyway, key, a key blank, which will pass not only the uh, garage door, but will pass the house as well. The house key blanks, if you had whatever we were starting with, a C123, that won't go into the garage either, but you really don't care because you're going to walk around with the C200. That might be uh, an example of why you might use a multi-section key blank. Uh, they are not protected. They are uh, not in any way um, restricted. You can purchase them. Uh, they're easy local key duplication. Same as were the traditional obverse C family uh, keyway would work through or any keyway and the C was actually used in the creation of the Everest system because of the familiarity Schlage C keyway it's the most common keyway by Schlage um, I would argue that it would give you some improvement in security because it has a side bit milling and features what I believe they call finger pins I, I know them as finger pins that will sit in the side of the cylinder and will rest inside of that groove that's there giving you some resistance to traditional attack because now you've got not one shear line only at the top of the pins which are standard pins but now you've got one at the side as well making it a bit more secure okay um, I don't know the full history of Schlage moving away from the classic obverse keyways except that um, they're probably not allowing Schlage to maintain a unique foothold in the marketplace because of the commonality of the C keyway that you can get everywhere from a number of domestic and imported lock set manufacturers. However, uh, the C family of Everest is uh, under the same Everest patent as well so that you're going, Schlage will um, enjoy a certain amount of um, exclusivity uh, because it's under the Everest restricted key patents. Okay, Even though they're not restricted, um, you won't have a knockoff brand making a 
Everest style key blank anytime soon. That's the point of it. Uh, this is a six pin blank. The 35 009 uh, is a reference to the design of the head of the key on both sides of the key. You can also do a do not duplicate version as well of this key blank. And I'm going to um, pull up the catalog and tell you what that five digit part number is. And as we load the book, a 35009 is your Everest C. And if you want to get into the do not duplicate embossed key, you would go to a 35 002. It will literally say on there, do not duplicate. The reason that that's possibly important is that it gives some visual key control. While there's nothing preventing a locksmith or anyone that goes in to get this key cut, uh, you might encounter, and it's likely that you will encounter a, uh, a locksmith that will say, I'm not cutting that. It's marked do not duplicate. But there's nothing preventing them from doing it. Um, you can, and this is called embossed, this feature here. You can also order them unembossed as well with a do not duplicate. They do not have apparently an unembossed non do not duplicate version. So it's embossed standard, uh, unembossed with do not duplicate, or embossed and do not duplicate is how you would get those. I think I got that all straight. Okay. And then of course control keys are available if you have an interchangeable control system. Emergency keys or hotel function control keys are also available depending on the lock function. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Schlage products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm quite partial to Schlage, and it's because I'm most familiar with them as a lock manufacturer and have sold that product for a quarter century at this point. Any questions on the Schlage 35-009C200 key blank or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.